So trash talking Charles has at it again. He's actually now calling the CPS and he's calling the CPS on none other than Finesse two times the back end man. Now the reason he's calling the CPS on Finesse two times is because recently Finesse two time actually signed this 10 year old rapper. Now the 10 year old rapper, I think he's calling him FNG King or something like that. Now the rapper, of course, you know, they're saying that his mom was heavy on that stuff and, and other stuff like that as well, right? Uh, so Finesse two times taking him on this wing and i will get deeper into the details and play the video of trash talking charles talking to cps right after the intro welcome back to key talk media this is your host key talk check it out man all right I'm going to give a shout out to the notification game, Key Talk Game, for rocking with me every single video. If you listen to my voice right now, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you get a notification every single time I drop a video. Anyways, you already know. So, Finesse two times signed some 10 year old rapper, probably pulled them somewhere out of the streets. Uh, and now the thing about it is, the 10 year old rapper is now, you know, being around like guns and that other stuff that you probably shouldn't be around at 10 years old. So, trash talking Charles is taking upon himself and he's saying that he's going to save the 10 year old rapper from gangsterism. Uh, now, what pushed him to do it was the fact that uh, after trash talking Charles actually came out and showed some disdain for, you know, the, the kid being around that type of environment trash talking charles pretty much you know received a message and in a message it was the 10 year old rapper that's uh, you know signed to finesse two times along with some other adults just doing a whole lot of threatening and cussing and stuff like that you already know i don't understand if they understand i don't know if they understand that trash talking charles actually got like some youth program hyped about hype and then also he worked literally used to work for uh you know like the governments like the police agencies and homeland securities and like he's an actual police person like it ain't just like a joke you know what i mean of course it's funny at times but he actually did use to work with a whole lot of like you know like police people and like higher up than police people you know what i'm saying anyways so pretty much you know with the gangsterism that the 10 year old is actually displaying uh over the internet trash talking charles took it upon himself to call the cps and here goes the video uh yes ma'am uh i only have rapper names and street names but i'm sure they easy to find Uh, yes, yes, ma'am. I want to make a report of child neglect and child endangerment. Okay, so before we get into those concerns, I do need to collect some basic information on everyone involved. Yes, ma'am. I want to let you know that your identity has been referred in confidential Oh, no, no. I, I don't want mine to be confidential. I want mine to be identified. I want them to know I did it because I work with children, and it's an obligation to report something when you think children are in danger. Okay, what's your name? Charleston White. -E yes, ma'am. Just like Charleston, South Carolina. Okay, and how do you know the child? Oh, uh, I, I, I don't. I got a video that was sent to me, uh, that was made by this child online, uh, making threats. Uh, there's videos of this child in the clubs at night with with convicts, thugs around, thugs and guns, and the kid name, name is Lil King. He's a he's a popular little rapper. So I have a I have a video. Uh, that I can send that you guys really can pull up on YouTube. Uh, called Lil King goes in on Charleston White. So just some of the things that he was saying in his video with the adults around him, and then the other videos that's surfacing online with him being in clubs. Uh, were 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 almost every rap event that these guys have been at, they've had shootings. Okay, give me just a moment here. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Mr. White, are you familiar with our email notification process? Uh, no, ma'am, I'm not. Could you could you explain it to me? So if you provide us an email address at the end of the report, we'll send you a link to the website, our website, where you can go to track the referral, and it'll let you know if the referral will be criteria before you feel to be involved. Okay, yes, ma'am. All right, and what's that email address? Now you know. So the video that they pretty much sent trash talking Charles that was pretty much threatening him, you can actually hear the 10 year old rapper in it as well, along with the other people pretty much saying what they were gonna do to him. Now I've got I'm gonna put that video on my Instagram at Key Talk Media if you wanna hear it. Uh, of course it's too like you know too vulgar for pretty much YouTube, you know, they don't play those type of games anymore. Anyway, so make sure you follow my Instagram at Key Talk Media, the same as my uh YouTube. 
YouTube channel. I'll put the link in the bio. Let me know some. Do y'all feel like trash talking Charles like he said he's trying to save Buddy from gangsterism before it's too late for him? He also said, hey, man, listen, King, one day you're going to thank me. You know what I'm talking about? But anyways, let me know some. Or is he going entirely too far? Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this entire deal. I'm out.